I am Orlando and this is Sin City Cycling's Tech in My Kitchen. Uh, today's tech show is going to be me installing uh, some new brake pads that I just picked up. Uh, we did some serious downhilling in an area of Las Vegas called Anthem and uh, I managed to melt the front brakes on my Venge. Uh, so I picked up these. Uh, these are Swiss Stop. Uh, I had originally tried to buy some Shimano brand, uh, but the seller on Amazon actually sent me some ones that were used. So I sent those back. Uh, these are highly regarded and supposed to be better than those. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and find out if they are, and uh, let's get started. Okay, so first things first, uh, we're going to go ahead and remove these brake pads here only because uh, they back out the other direction and they would hit the forks. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to go ahead and take them completely off. Uh, you just got to go ahead and undo the bolt here. And I apologize for the background noise. That is my daughter. Uh, every time I make a video, she feels the need to be in it. So that's what that is. Okay. Here is our old brake pad, and you can see how absolutely melted they are. You can still see little bits of it melted to the front here, uh, and that's from some serious downhill braking that I did this last weekend in uh, the part of town that I call, or is called, Anthem. Uh, I did briefly mention it at the beginning of this video, but anyway, let's go ahead and take these off and put the new ones in. Uh, the brake pads are directional depending on side, so this is right. So let's pull ahead. And you have these little set screws here that are in the back of the brake and you need to go ahead and move that almost completely out. Um, the new uh, pads do come with new uh, new brake screws, so I guess I can try those. Right here, let's do a little comparison so you can see. Uh, new pad, melted pad. It's just simply a matter of sliding it in. Facing down. And I'm just going to kind of eyeball this because I'm going to adjust it after I put them both on. Because they're new, I'm going to need to completely adjust them, which requires you loosening the cable. So I'm just going to do this, we'll call it like finger tight, I guess. And we're just going to repeat that for the other side. So, so loosen set screw. Push out pad. And those are bad. Plus the dust out here really creates an issue. You can see how the dust here in our area clogs these little cooling uh, fins that they put in here. You can see all that nasty stuff in there, so that's usually an issue as well. So that's something that I actually have to keep on as far as clean. Alright, and I know that this one is a left because we just really had this one in our hand. So, skinny side front. And there we go. Now I have heard that this brand is superior to what I usually would use. I would usually use Shimano or generic. Uh, the last ones I really had were Super Team, which came with my carbon rings that I had before. Um, they were kind of squeaky, so it's not something I would go ahead and rebuy or repurchase. And again, I'm just going to get it on here just a little tight because I still am going to have to adjust them to the rim distance and such. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and replace the pads first. And these, I believe, slide out backwards, so I don't think we're going to need to remove them. So let's just do this. Undo the 
set screw. And these ones have almost come all the way past the fins. And that's usually when you want to start replacing them. When you can't really see the fins going through it, they're worn. This one is really worn. Look at this. Man, that one melted bad. Oof. That is a screw. I'm just going to toss that one right away. That one is not worth even saving. And I do sometimes save these to use on the cheaper bike. But uh, these are actually pretty worn, so we're just going to straight up toss those. Okay. Let's see. This is the left. tighten the set screws and we are ready to adjust although these back ones look like they're pretty good here already so I'm not sure I'm going to need to adjust the rear the front for sure Sometimes if, if there's not the proper distance in between the rim and the pad, uh, when you break, you'll see the rim kind of moving over with it. Uh, there is a little adjustment screw here on the side, which adjusts the way the brakes spread apart um, and the distance from side to side. So if you are having that problem where it's moving the rim, you're going to need to adjust the spacing on the sides, which is done by this little set screw here. I don't know if you can actually see that, but right here. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and show you how to adjust. At least that's, this is how I do it. Okay, so first things first, let's go ahead and put the quick release back on. Uh, I am going to go ahead and loosen our cable. Okay, and then I'm going to take the adjustment screw and I'm going to back it out like halfway. All right. Okay, so now that you have the cable undone, the next step would be to press the calipers to the rim. Now once the calipers are pressed to the rim, go ahead and pull your brake cable tight and tighten it down. Okay, now I know what you're thinking here now is that they're going to rub, which they are. But if you loosen the set screw here, like I said to do in the beginning, they will go ahead and start spreading apart distance wise. And go ahead and redo the screw until they are the right distance. And on the front brake, as you remember, I left them a little bit loose. So what I'm going to do is apply pressure to the handle and then I'm going to go ahead and loosen the pad so I can adjust it to the brake track. Make sure that it's placed properly in the track, front and back. Okay. And that looks about good. So I'm going to go ahead and retighten that side. Okay, now that one's straight. And now the other side ahead and apply pressure to the brake or have someone else do it if you're doing the rear brake. It's usually kind of like a reach around trick that you have to do to do the rear by yourself, but it's not that difficult. So go ahead, now that you have it aligned into the brake track, tighten the pad back down. Be quiet. And uh, you have just replaced your brakes. There you go. Ooh, those are grippy, huh? Uh, also, what I'm going to do here, because in my area there is serious amounts of dust, uh, I'm going to go ahead and wipe the brake track down uh, with alcohol. 
So that way it's nice and clean and it's not going to wear unevenly. So. Towel. Paper towel. Banana. Alcohol. Alright. Go ahead. Get it nice and wet. Also what this is doing is cleaning off the residue that the old pads left. So we don't want to start with that on here. Okay, and you can see here that that's the kind of stuff that accumulates here in Vegas. Uh, if you live somewhere where the humidity is anything more than zero, you probably won't have such a dust issue like we do here. But here, dust is definitely a big issue as far as carbon goes, because I'm assuming I haven't actually had a pair of carbon rims long enough to see it work, but I'm assuming that the dust is going to aid in the wear of the brake track here. That's just simple cause and effect. And uh, if you're thinking that these are new rims, uh, they are. Uh, I got a smoking deal from... Uh, our buddy Nick, who's also with Sin City Cycling, and uh, there is a video up that has me swapping rims on both bikes. I uh, will leave a link in the description below, uh, if I remember. But if not, it's out there. Uh, I just need to change the music because it's been blocked. Anyway, that is about it. The rear brake didn't need to be adjusted, but I'm going to go ahead and wipe it off camera. There's no reason that you guys need to see both. As always, I am Orlando with Sin City Cycling. I hope you like what you're bringing. Please, if you have anything that you would like to see us do, hit it down in the comments below. Hit that like button if you like what we're doing here. Think about subscribing. We really appreciate you. Peace! Hey.